All right. So the first discussion that we shall start with is the calculation of annual subscription income. Now remember the annual subscription fee, which is the membership fee is the primary source of income for any club or a not for profit organization. So it's very important to do the calculation over here because we need to calculate the amount that I should transfer to the income and expenditure for annual subscription. Now, in order to do that, we will draw a simple subscription account. A subscription account is like an income account that we used at AS level. All right. So you guys can say this is an income account. Now, before I start with the subscription account, let's just go over few important concepts under subscription. Now with membership fee, two things can happen. Number one, you can have subscription in arrears, which means that some members have not paid their outstanding membership fee. So you can say this fee is still owed by members. Now for the club, if the subscription fee is outstanding and they expect to receive this in the future, this classifies as a definition of asset. If you guys recall an asset is anything which generate future economic benefits. So subscription in arrears would be an asset for the club. Similarly, some members might have paid the subscription in advance. That subscription might have been received in advance by the club. Now the club has received this money but has not provided services against it. So this becomes an owing for the club because it needs to provide services as it has already received that money from the members. So I can say subscription in advance becomes a liability for the club. Okay. So once we have determined what's an asset, what's a liability for the club, we can now take a look at our annual subscription account. So the first thing I can say is any subscription in arrears with, because it's an asset should have a debit balance brought down. So, so we can highlight this. This is subscription in arrears at the start of the year which is your opening asset membership fee not received as yet and closing subscription in arrears, the balance carried down should come over here on the credit side. Similarly, if we talk about subscription received in advance, which is a liability for the club. Now we know that liabilities should have a credit balance brought down. So that subscription received in advance. And similarly, the closing balance carried down will come over here, right? So that's subscription in arrears and subscription in prepaid. Now the money received for subscription, we know that our bank account should be debit or the receipt and payment account in this case will be debit since you're receiving money. So if bank or receipt or payment is debit, your subscription account should be credit. So you guys can see the bank figure over here. This shows the money received. All right. So you guys should note this over here. That's the receipts. All right. Any bad debt, if a member has not paid their outstanding amount and is to be written off, will be written as a bad debt over here. Right. So right next to bank, you guys should also write bad debt over here and it will go as an expense to take a note of this as an expense in the income statement. Any subscription that has been refunded will be returned from the bank. So it, so it should come on the debit side. Right. So if this is your bank, the refund should come on the opposite side over here. Now, once you have this, this is the figure we're trying to locate the income and expenditure amount. This is the amount that will go to the income and expenditure account as the annual subscription income, which is again your primary source of income. So when we are drawing our subscription account, one of our aims is to calculate this. But at times we, we will also see that the income and expenditure might be available, but some other item is missing. So I want you guys to take a note of the annual subscription account first. You guys should draw it down as well. Take a look at this. Now we'll go through two different cases. I'll do the calculations with you and we'll see how the annual subscription account will look like under these two cases. So now let's take a look at the first case. All right. So I've, I've named it case one. Okay. Under case one, what we know is that the annual subscription fee per member is $50. That information has been given to you. So each member will pay $50 for that year. Now on 1st Jan and 31st December, 1st Jan is your opening date and 31st December becomes your closing date. Now you have the following information subscription in arrears. What is subscription in arrears? That's members who have not paid their fees at the start of the year. 
So what I can say is on 1st Jan there were 6 members who had not paid their fee on 1st of Jan. So that becomes $300 as subscription in arrears at the start of the year. That's the membership fee owed to the club. So 300 becomes your asset at the start and 8 members owed subscription at the end of the year. So that's 50 times 8. $400 is subscription in arrears at the end of the year. That's your closing asset. Now let's enter this in your subscription account. Yeah, so I've entered this now. That's your opening asset. Remember that should have a debit balance. That's opening arrears and 400 becomes your closing arrears. Right? Okay. Similarly, subscription received in advance. That's future income, which is your liability. So there are five members who have paid at the start of the year for future services and there are three members at the end of the year who have paid for future services they become a liability for us as well so that's 250 and 150 right 15 to 5 and 15 to 3 now remember this subscription in advance is your liability so i've written my opening liability on the credit side that's your balance brought down 250 and 150 is your closing liability Right, so we've entered our arrears and subscription in advance. Now, one more thing. We know our subscription received is 40,000, which is your receipt figure or the bank figure. And using that, you need to calculate your annual subscription income. So how should your subscription account look like now? So yeah, receipt and payment 40,000 should go on the credit side of the subscription account. As I explained, your bank or receipt and payment should be debit. So subscription account should be credit. Now, once you have all these figures, you can calculate the missing figure over here, which is the income and expenditure value. And that comes out to be 40,200. So I would ask you guys to total up the credit side first, then subtract it from the debit side and you will arrive at this figure 40,200. Now this figure should go to the income and expenditure account as your annual subscription income. One more thing to note, using this figure, we can also calculate the number of members. So I can also say this, that if my annual subscription is 40,200 and each member is supposed to pay $50, using that you can also find the number of members. So that becomes 804 members, right? So this club has 804 members in our example. All right, so I hope you guys understood this example, how to draw the subscription account. It's very essential to draw the subscription account. We're not done as yet. We have another case where we'll change some information. So let's take a look at that case as well. All right, so let me call this case two. All right, now under case two, the number of members have already been given to you. That's 350 members and the annual subscription fee is also given. Now, please take a note of one thing. If you have the annual subscription fee and the number of members that should help you calculate the subscription income. So I can say my subscription income for the year should be 350 times $100. All right, this figure gives you the income and expenditure value. So in this case, the income and expenditure value is already available. Now, you know your subscription received, which is the money received. Again, you have subscription in arrears. Four members had not paid at the start and three members had not paid at the end. Subscription in advance. Ten members had paid in advance at the start. Now, what is the missing figure? You do not know subscription in advance at the end of the year. You need to calculate this amount, the closing subscription in advance. There is one more thing to note. Two members had been written off during the year, which means these members became bad debt. There's also a, a bad debt in this case. Now using this, you have to draw the subscription account. All right. So I would ask you guys to first attempt the subscription account yourself and then take a look at my answer. So that's how our subscription account should look like. This 400 is your subscription in arrears at the start. That's 100 times 4. And 300 is your closing arrears, which is for these members over here. 
Now subscription in advance at the start of the year is for 10 members that's 10 into 100 1000 that's your opening liability. Closing liability was missing. What we know was that the subscription received amount the receipt and payment that's 34,000 I've written that over here 200 will go as bad debt that's two members that had been written off. So that's 100 times 2 200 becomes your bad debt. Now income and expenditure we can directly calculate it. 350 members times 100 that's 35,000 so I've written the income and expenditure value too. What was missing now? This figure so we had to calculate this figure from the subscription account. So I, I added up the credit side subtracted it from the debit. I got my balance carried down or closing subscription in advance to be 100. What does 100 mean? 100 means that one member has paid in advance so that's 100 divided by 100 so only one member had paid in advance that becomes your closing subscription in advance. Alright so that's how you can use the subscription account to calculate any missing figure. You can even have the income and expenditure the closing advance can be missing closing arrears can be missing and even the receipt and payment can be missing at times and using the subscription account we can extract any of these values. Alright, so this video is important. Please take a look at subscription account very carefully. Draw this account and in the questions when we solve later in our future videos, you guys will see how the subscription account is being used.